Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Digital Learning by the Department of Collegiate Education. I am Manjunath Sivi, working as Assistant Professor in Commerce. So today, I am presenting before you the topic Problems on Classification and Tabulation from the second chapter, Classification and Tabulation of the Subject, Quantitative Analysis 1, which is there in BCom program. In the previous session, we had discussed about types of tables, wherein on the basis of coverage, we had four broad tables, simple table, complex table, and under complex table, we had two-way tables, three-way tables, and manifold tables. Yesterday, we had discussed uh, the a table which explains a single characteristic is known as a simple table, and a table which explains exactly two characteristics is known as a two-way table. So today, let us proceed further and look into what is a three-way table and a manifold table. A three-way table, as the name indicates, represents three different characteristics which are interrelated. So when a table indicates three different characteristics which are interrelated, that is known as a three-way table. For instance, if you look into the slide, you can find out the three different characteristics here are one, age, second, gender, and third is literacy. So on the basis of age, second, on the basis of literacy, and on the basis of sex or gender, we, can, we have classified the table into three different characteristics. So here, in the age group of 0 to 20, we can find out how many of them are literates, how many of them are illiterates, out of the total population. Further, if we classify literates, we can classify them in, on the basis of gender into male, female and total. So, the total of male literates and total of female literates in the age group of 0 to 20. Similarly, in the age group of 0 to 20, what is the total number of male illiterates and female illiterates? Like this, when we classify a table on the basis of three different interrelated characteristics, such kind of a table is known as a three-way table. Similarly, we continue the remaining class intervals. Class, uh, classes 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and 80 to 100. The same way, we classify them into broadly two groups on the basis of literacy. That is whether they are literates or illiterates. Further, on the basis of gender or sex, we classify literates into male literates, female literates and total. Similarly, female illiterates, male illiterates and total illiterates. And out of the total, we again get total of the male who are literate as well as illiterate, total of the females who are literate as well as illiterate and what is the total population. Like this, when we classify a table on the basis of three interrelated characteristics, such kind of a table will be known as three-way table. Coming to the next one, which is called as manifold table. Next, coming to manifold tables. When a table gives information about many interrelated characteristics or many interrelated problems, such a table will be called as manifold table. As the name indicates many, the number of characters could be 4, 5, 6, 7 and the list could go on further. Hence, it is called as a manifold table. For instance, let us look into the distribution of the students in a college on the basis of number one, faculty, second on the basis of class, third on the basis of gender and fourth on the basis of year. Like this, let us look at how we can prepare a manifold table. Looking into the example, the example says distribution of the students in a college according to four different characteristics, which is the class, the gender or sex of the students, the faculty and the total number of years. Like this, we have four different characteristics. Now, if you look into the table, we have the years, we have taken the data for two years, 1982 and 1983. Now, coming to the class, we have again two different classes. One is the PUC and the next is the degree. 
when we come towards the streams further we have arts commerce and science in puc and similarly in the table we have arts commerce and science further that is on the basis of the faculty next classifying the students on the basis of gender we have male female and total so in the year 1982 what are the total number of male students who have studied arts at puc similarly what is the total number of students female students who have studied arts at puc so like this we can classify the table on the basis of each and every characteristics so when the number of characteristics are increasing that is more than four or more than four that is when we call it as a manifold table if there are exactly three characteristics on the basis of which we are going to prepare the tabulation then it will be called as a three way table and when a table contains exactly two characteristics which are interdependent interrelated such a table will be called as a two way table now since this is a manifold table here we have taken exactly four characteristics first one was the class that is your puc or degree second we took it faculty wise whether they are puc faculty or whether they are degree faculty among them we further bifurcated them among the puc faculty we had arts faculty science faculty and commerce faculty the same way in the degree level we have classified in the table it as arts faculty commerce faculty and science faculty so first classification was on the basis of class second classification was on the basis of faculty the third classification is on the basis of gender the total number of male students and total number of female students in each and every stream that is puc as well as arts sorry puc as well as commerce similarly in puc number of male and female students studying arts in puc number of male and female students studying arts in science in puc similarly number of male and female students studying commerce in puc adhe rithiyalli degree allu saha navu total namalli eshtu jana boys mattu girls idare yaru arts ootta idare degree alli adhe rithi science ootta irudu mattu commerce ootta iru classification anna maadidivi so first classification class basis mele maadidivi eradane classification faculty basis mele maadidivi moorne classification on the basis of gender or sex male and female madidivi matte kone da naalkne characteristics illi year namu eradu varsha da data vanna tagondidivi 1982 matte 1983 hagagi ee eradu data related navu illi data na collect madidivi so ee riti naalku athwa naalkakinna hechu characteristics na explain maduvantaha table na we will call it as manifold table so this was a broad classification of the different types of table tables which we will be using in tabulation well with this uh, we have come towards the end of chapter 2 so let us recap what all have we discussed in chapter number 2 that is classification and tabulation of the subject quantitative analysis 1 of bcom program when we started with the meaning of classification of data classification of data andre yenu classification yake beku classification na uddeshagalu yenu the objectives of classification mattu data na yav reethi classify maadabodu ivellavannu we discussed under meaning of classification of data classification of data objectives of data classification nantra we proceeded with the types of classification yav reethi classification na maadalu sadhya what are the different types matto we discussed what do we mean by a variable variable andre yenu so variable nalli yen yenu vidavada variables irtave samanyavagi moonu different variables bartave ondu individual variable matto ondu discrete variable matto continuous variable further series andre yenu statistical series statistical series is an arrangement of data in a systematic manner which follows a logical method so what are the different types of statistical series individual series discrete series matto continuous series next we proceeded with tabulation of data so tabulation of data andre yenu classification gu tabulation gu vyatyasa enu baala mukhyavagi 
classification nalli naavu bifurcate maartta idivi on the basis of different groups and characteristics we are arranging the data into different groups and characteristics but tabulation nalli we are presenting the data ಏನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಬೈಫರ್ಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುವ ಹಾಗೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡೇಟಾ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೇಬಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಸೊ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಏಕೆ ಬೇಕು ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಮಾಡುವ ಉದ್ದೇಶಗಳೇನು ಇವೆಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಈವನ್ ಅ ಕಾಮನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಟೇಬಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಅದೇ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲೇಷನ್ ನ ಉದ್ದೇಶ ಕೊನೆಯದಾಗಿ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಒಂದು ಟೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಏನೇನು ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಟೇಬಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟೈಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಹೆಡ್ ನೋಟ್ ಫುಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಬ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಈ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಎಂಟು ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ನ ನೋಡಿದೀವಿ ಅಂಡರ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ಥಿಯರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡ ನಂತರ ವಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಆನ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ three different sessions with respect to problems on classification and tabulation with this i end the particular chapter i hope you all have understood the entire chapter number 2 classification and tabulation thank you students